Yo, what's shaking, Merc fam? Thank you for tuning in to another one of my reviews. I'm extremely excited for this one. I watched this horror movie called Demonic this past weekend that absolutely had me on the edge of my seat. I'm not kidding you guys. The movie was absolutely refreshing. If you're trying to find a good horror movie, I suggest you catch this one. But before we get into the review, I want to make sure that everybody likes, they subscribe, and if you haven't already joined the notification gang, which is something that a lot of people say, but they don't expect explain it just means that when you hit that bell up at the top right corner every time i post something you guys are going to be alerted so you will be in full awareness of everything i post and that's ultimately the goal i'm trying to make things for y'all to watch all right it doesn't make sense if i post something and you don't know that it's out you know what i mean but look let's get into this review and i'm gonna give a full spoiler warning right here at the top i'm not even gonna do it in the middle of the video i'm gonna let y'all know right here you know what i'm saying if you haven't seen this movie go watch it and meet me back Back here off the rip this movie drew me in just based off of the cover the poster for the movie I was like damn this looks good now of course we all watch a lot of different demonic or possession type of horror movies I mean come on let's be honest we see so many conceptual horror movies be regurgitated and recycled out to us over these years so that's why I'm gonna honestly say I enjoyed this movie it was very original now let's talk about it a little bit now I know that I gave you guys a spoiler warning I'm not necessarily gonna ruin everything about the movie i'm just gonna give you a brief overlay of what you can expect and i'm not gonna give you like who the murderer is and why they're doing this and that because i really want you guys to enjoy this movie like i did i did not watch the trailer by the way i haven't seen anything from this movie before me watching it and afterwards i did watch the trailer so i can kind of get a refresher for this review and i was like damn they really showed a lot in the trailer so i do want to encourage you all to absolutely watch the movie with without seeing the trailer. But really the movie revolves around the main character Carly and her relationship with her mother. The mom in the movie is in a critical condition. She's like hooked up to all these machines. She's in a coma and she's serving a life sentence. They didn't really explain maybe a death penalty because she killed like 20 people. Now this is why I said I love the concept of this movie because what they did was play with the idea of someone being possessed but they just get locked away in prison, right? They pass all of their physical exams. They pass every other type of exam that that makes them clinically sane, but they still get thrown into this prison system where they're still being possessed. I thought that was such a cool idea. Like none of the prison doctors or nurses can really explain what's wrong with her. She's just fucking cut the hell up and in this coma, she can't even speak. And I mean, she was cut like, like big scars all over her face, her arms. It was really sad and she looked really skinny and hurt and just through, you know what I'm saying? Essentially, because the mother is in this critical condition, they bring in Carly, the main character. And this is another level that I really loved in the movie. They had this amazing scientifically advanced simulation that nearly connected to each patient and put them in this sort of video game realm. Man, I'm telling you guys, this movie was killer. I love the concept. I'm not gonna tell you no more more about the plot man i really want you guys to watch it it was absolutely original and to add on that the production companies that were involved in this it wasn't like blumhouse or warner brothers you know what i mean it wasn't some big name brand thing it was a couple of little small ones y'all did a great job man i think the director from district 9 actually directed this movie too so you can kind of see the really good quality and shots that are in this movie there was the perfect amount of twists and turns and overlapping storylines and unveiling of things in this movie. I really enjoyed the pace of the movie. It really wasn't long at all. I had a good time just sitting, watching it. I was into it for real. And to add the cherry on top, I didn't hate the ending. So if you guys love horror movies, you like to be thrilled, and you enjoy a good sci-fi twisted movie, I think you guys will love this one. It's called Demonic. And the cool thing is, this movie didn't even have a bunch of big A-list actors. The main actor is someone that we've seen in other movies, and everyone else you've probably seen is some sort of show on TV or some low budget other film. But this movie for me is gonna get a seven out of 10, guys. I really enjoyed this movie. That's my personal opinion. You should take it with a grain of salt. I know a lot of people that like horror movies, but they don't like when it gets unrealistic. You know what I mean? That's why a lot of people like these possession movies because it's in a realm that we can all understand, you know? It's not some weird creepy alien thing or something growing out of some 
someone, some shit that we never seen or heard of. This movie was very relatable and I'm 100% sure you guys are gonna love it too, man. But what did you guys think of this review? I really tried to not ruin it, all right? I wanted to give this brief overlay just to spark enough interest in you guys to actually watch this film, man. I wanna send a special thanks to all my initial subscribers that have been in tune with me and helping me grow along the way, man. I really appreciate y'all. We are literally doing this together, man. But you already know what it is. It's been a pleasure. It's your boy, Merc. But I'm out. The Dale Merc fam. Thank you for tuning in to another one of my reviews. Don't forget to like and subscribe on your way out. If you enjoyed this review and you're interested in seeing a little bit more about your boy, why don't you click on another one of my reviews? Like maybe, um, this one? Or what about that one? It's all up to you, man. Just make sure you share with a friend, like, and subscribe. Tap the notification bell. It's your boy, Merc. It's been a pleasure, but I'm out.